Now is probably a great time to stop and try to explain just a little bit what I'm doing here. Obviously I'm milling a piece out that's going to become kind of a crank handle doohickey, whatchamajigger, whatchamacallit, that I can put my drill on and crank this whole head up and down with some amount of ease. Maybe we'll add some kind of a manual crank handle on here for fine tuning because that's something that we obviously need. But I would rather grab onto that than to grab onto this thing with my vice grip and continually chew it up, regardless of how we do this. Now I found this drawing online at a site called homemadetools.net, some kind of a forum site. You know, you just Google this stuff and eventually you come up with pictures, right? And uh, printed this crazy thing out. Seems like it's about the right thing by a few measurements that I took. You can see there's nine of these little doohickeys going around here, right? On the So there's nine and they match together, nine of them. So essentially when you're doing this you're wanting to mill, you know, mill through here each each time and you can see the trick to this whole deal is seeing that there's a straight line drawn right through the center here, right? And so you see over here there's an open spot that you got to mill out and over here there's an open spot that you have to mill out or vice versa whatever you happen to think this, you know, they're matching pieces, right? This matches this down here. What you need to do is get this centered and then move the bit over until the edge of the bit rides right along this line here. And it's really pretty simple. You ride your bit along that line and you take out a little chunk here, okay, and then you keep indexing it over 40 degrees at a time because 360 divided by 9 is 40. So you can keep going, you know, you're going here, you turn this one over by 40 degrees and then you're milling out this one. But each time you're going right alongside this line here. <laughs> So I've got this thing kind of half done as far as milling out all these little things here, or whatever you call them, teeth, okay? You're going to ask the obvious question, I know it, if I was milling out this little portion right in here, why in the world didn't I go all the way across, because you got that straight line there, and mill this portion out over here, and so, you know, go around once and get her all done. Good question. I don't know. Why didn't I do that? Because I got started milling out this one side and wasn't thinking. So now I'm going to go back again and mill out on this back side and get this little portion done for each one of these and uh, next time, you know, 30 years from now, sometime when I'm 80 some years old and I have to make another one of these if I live that long, then we can do this a different way. But for now, this is going to be the way it's done in uh, ordinary man world.
All right, so I did my centering, my table centering, and my piece centering again. It's not like doing this on a lathe, but then we don't have a lathe yet. All I'm doing here is just getting rid of material. So now I'm milling so I can put a three quarter inch wrench on here and move it because like I said I don't have a regular crank handle I just want to be able to move it manually sometimes. saying three quarter seven eighths sometimes I forget my own measurements seven eighths of an inch goes on there I'm gonna take and clean this off just a skosh more go around one more time All right, there it is. There it is, it's not so beautiful, but I just gotta add the half inch uh, bolt in the end here to make this thing work. And maybe do a little bit of sanding or a little bit of filing in here just to kind of clean things up a little bit. I am not a professional machinist, as you well know by watching me just break this thing. that's it thank you so much for watching hope you enjoyed my struggles making this thing it wasn't actually too terrible but if I had a lathe man if I had a lathe it'd be so much easier it is what it is it works sometimes you just have to cobble you got to work with what you have you know you can try to make things perfect that don't need to be perfect and this didn't need to be perfect it just had to function had to be something, had to be something better than the vice grips. And so I'm happy as a lark. I'm gonna go on making other stuff now. See you around very, very soon. Please subscribe if you are not, and hit the like button. If you did like, if you don't, well, I can't help you. Talk to you later, thanks.